Hi, I'm Udi Tiroch with DIYPhotography.net. We're here at NAB 2023, and we're gonna check the beast that is the Nunlax 900C. DIY Photography's coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Jiayun, Small Rig, and b and I'm here with Mark Bender, GM and VP Sales for Nunlax US. Hi Mark, how's the show so far? So far it is loaded with anticipation for some awesome innovation. So I, I'm going to be honest, you're the first interview for today. Um, and I saw the PR for the 900C, I got truly really excited. So tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's our, not our first entry into uh, RGB LAC technology. We actually started this with the NAN Lite 60C about uh, six months ago, uh, back in the fall. Um, and we launched that uh, uh, in 2022. We've scaled that up now into the NAN Lux brand with the 900C. So that's, that's how that's evolved. Um, and now we're ready to introduce that, this into the motion picture, television broadcast, and independent producer market. So one thing I was curious about, Nanlite has been um, one of the prominent voices with color and you've always done RGB. So I'm wondering why have you transitioned to LAC? Well, first of all, this is an evolution. So we had RGB WW so that we had in our dinos a fantastic, broad, big color space for the practitioners to work in. Now with the RGB LAC, it has even expanded that color space by magnitudes so that we can deliver even, even broader color space, richer saturation, and the LAC kind of fills in some of that color space that was missing in previous technologies. Okay, now are, are, are there any more bigger lights that we're gonna see? We're gonna talk about the 900C, but before that, the, I'm in curious. The, in the United States, we have a saying in broadcast, film at 11. <laughs> yes, there will be. <laughs> so w what can you tell me more about the 900C? Who is it for? What are the major uh, benefit points for it? So one of, the, one of the things since we were just touching on the color space, this is phenomenal. Uh, we're able to do some things that uh, we just quite frankly weren't able to produce for the practitioner as far as color space is concerned. One of those things is one of our new modes that we've been able to introduce, which is very clever. It's in the HSI mode. We now have an additional feature, we, well, we call it advanced HSI, okay? And what it does is it allows you all the color space with now the ability to dial in from 1800 Kelvin to 20,000 Kelvin, a base color temperature while you're using HSI. So it enables practitioners who are walking onto a set that's already been, have some color temperatures, the base, to dial in that base and then the HSI becomes totally relevant and practical and wonderful and easy to use. So you don't need to calculate that externally and kind of gel it. Extrapolates and yeah, I mean, the, the other thing that we have a recent introduction, we have recently licensed the Lee Filter Library. So now that that is over and we're, we, we got Lee into, into uh, uh, a technological uh, exchange, all the Lee library will be throughout our line when our, in the dynos and this RGB LAC 900C so that the practitioner can literally just dial in the name, of the, the name and number of a Lee gel and he's done, okay? It's, they're very precisely calibrated. And again, we, are, we, we provide the ability to, under, in the gel library, to go from tungsten to daylight. We have the two 3200 and 5600K settings as your base. So it really makes for accuracy uh, a, a lot faster, and it keeps the gel bill down. And are, are you doing the same for the other family, the Roscoe's or? Anything, uh, right now I don't have that, Roscoe. We have not reached a licensing agreement yet with Roscoe. We're hoping to do that, but right now um, we, we don't have that uh, finalized yet. And uh, for audience who are uh, curious in buying one of these, uh, what is the price and availability? Um, in the United States, at this point in time, at the launch of the show, the street price is $4,660. Um, 
because of the of initial availability, the owner of the factory decided to include the case at no extra charge. So everybody that pre-orders is basically getting a free case. And do you have an estimated shipping date? Our audience, when am I going to get mine? That's what they want to know. So um, basically the arrival of the first sea shipment uh, will be about the third week of May into our U.S. warehouse. And so I would say everybody's going to have them on dealer shelves by the end of May. It's not, not that far. It's not that far. This is not saying, well, we'll see you next year. You know, this is just a, a prototype. These are in production, working, solid units. And one of the things, I don't know if, if you can see it, but this is the 900C in the, in the 24 hour rain shower that we put our equipment through. So there is a separate shower on the head and there's a separate shower on the ballast. So our complete system is IP55 on the 900C. No worries, it's been in a hurricane, on a news broadcast, and our users are having fun chasing storms and showing me footage. Mark, look what I just went through. You know, <laughs> So it's very robust. Mark, what is this beast that you're holding in your hands? Well, this is a prototype, okay? This is going to be the Leco optic uh, attachment that we're going to make, okay? Right now we make an adapter which will take the ETC mount style, theatrical style lenses that everybody loves. And there's tens of thousands of them out there. It works beautifully. However, we know that just because of technology and generation, that with the technology we have, we can make much more sharper, brighter, more color correct optics. So this, is, this contains those optics. This is a prototype. I'm saying probably midsummer, maybe we'll see the actual finished version, but anybody coming to the booth can see this in action and it is spectacular. How big is the case for this? This is, this is what, what I want to know. Well, I could say, if you have to ask, it's not for you. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it, 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 basically, there's even some Pelican cases that would fit this. We'll, we'll supply a case. But, you know, it, it, in our business, in motion picture and television, what does it take to get the job done? And we'll do it. Okay, that's, that's what every gaffer and practitioner will tell you. So, but we will have a nice case for this. Probably a trolley case that'll roll. And then my question is, how is this different from the usual projection units that you have on the non-light line? Oh, I'm so glad you asked that question. Okay, one of the things that we did when we created our adapter is, yes, the initial thought was, let's make it work with the ETC lenses, okay? And they work beautifully. You know, you can put your gobos in, you can get your effects, just like a real theatrical uh, leco, okay? But we were a little disappointed because right now, our NAN light projector unit used with the 720 was outperforming the sharpness and the color correction of the ETC lenses, okay, in the, in the version that we adapted to. Just, just because they're older units. They're just, it's older technology, okay. ETC is a brilliant, marvelous company. We, we look to them as one of our lighthouses. You know, they're, they're, they're the industry leader in standard. But optically with the version that's available right now to fit ours, we had to go our own direction. Because again, that's our brand. We want to be a reference brand. We want to be the go-to brand when it comes to quality and performance. And we knew we could do better if we did our own optics. Thank you so much for uh, showing us the 900C and the projection unit. Uh, I would like to touch a little bit about the landscape of lighting companies. So Nanlite has always been there um, for lighting, but in recent, I don't know, two or three years, the brand exploded. Um, can you share a little bit about the vision and where you're going to? Well, as you know, Nan Guang is the company that we are owned by and, we're, and who owns the factory. Um, they, we manufacture under the same, again, on the same campus, we manufacture both Nan Light and Nan Lux. Okay? Um, we in the United States, on the Nan Lux side, I can tell you, for the last two years, consistently have tripled our market share. So we're going the right direction. Um, I think at this point, 
in the beginning, the thing that is driving that growth is, is I can't take credit for it. It's customer satisfaction. The word of mouth is unbelievable. And one of those aspects is the build quality, which you can only sample and only appreciate when you handle and put the instruments to use on your set, and is the output. We have units that people just, they read the specs, and they go, no, it can't be that bright. And then they get it on set, and it's, oh my lord, I had no idea the output was like this. And this is one of the things, for instance, the 900C represents. It is absolutely the leader in output in RGB, LAC, COP technology. Um, our closest, uh, the closest competitive unit out there, um, using the worst case scenario, is we're 200% brighter than they are. So, and it, it's, it's not- That's amazing. Yeah, it, I mean, it's not exactly a fair comparison. It's just because we're, nine, we're rated at 900 watts, you know, approximately. I, it, it doesn't mean as much, the watts don't mean as much as they used to because we were always using, you know, tungsten technology and a certain watt fixture would give you so many lumens on a site. Well, now, because of the way LED, LED technology has become so much more efficient in delivering with the same power so much more light, all the formulas go out the window. So what I would invite people to do is, is to go on our site, look at our photometric data with all the reflectors and all the color temperatures, okay? You'll see the difference. And this is why one of the things that Nanguan, their vision is always to lead the industry, to take risks, push the technology to the max. Why? To deliver new tools for the practitioner that will extend their art and their applications. That's the whole vision and dream and purpose of our company. That, that has been an eye-opening conversation for me. Thank you so much. Um, we're gonna tour around the booth a little bit. Beautiful. Um, stay tuned for more coverage of NAB 2023. It's Udi Tiroz from DIY Photography and we'll stay tuned.